The commentary done by Diggity Upper Right Corner. We have Arson starting as the Mustard Yellow Terran, 6 o'clock location. We have Scut, who's maybe trying to throw off his opponent by using the label Zerg, but he's in fact playing the Red Terran at the 6 o'clock location. This is on Power Bond. And this, in my opinion, is the Group of Death, D for Death. You've got Lana's Hot in this group as well, a very good CPL player. You also have Advil, who went fairly deep in previous rounds of BSL and is a BSL veteran out there. Actually, did Advil make... I think Advil made the round of four last season, didn't he? Anyway, this is a very, very strong group. I would not be surprised to see the winners of this group advance either to the semifinals or the finals. But that means in the round of 32, we're going to have intense games all the way around. Power Bond, one of those maps for TVT that comes down to, my opinion, oftentimes Vulture Micro, although there are some shenanigans you can pull. You can open up with the, the Goliath kind of counter, style build which sometimes pay off but i just feel like it is such a wide open middle of the map where mine placement coverage and the backstab opportunities for vultures even if you do manage to get your goliath force out there there's just so many opportunities for defenses from your opposing turn player to just delay you while vultures are sweeping into your natural expansion and your main arson making an initial sev scout after first supply depot so wants to get eyes on his opponent very very rapidly which is unusual on a three-player map with Terran usually Terran want to keep those SCV in as long as possible maybe he wants to make sure he knows what he's up against barracks being constructed wants to make sure he gets in before it's not inconceivable in TVT to have a gas steal gas being grabbed fairly early which means we are probably seeing faster factory play from both players rather than just a Rax into command center. Scout finding the space and also in before the angle of the SCV was seen. Scut looks like he is going to get first scout as well, however. SCV trying to battle it out and get some damage done. As he's sneaking across, causing the other SCV to come off the line. This almost makes it worth it with the earlier scout because that's delayed mining time. Barracks finishing on the other end. We are going to see... Well, I was thinking we we're going to see an initial marine, but it looks like... Nope, there's the initial marine. I was wondering if we we're going to see initial marine skipped, potentially. Three SCV in gas for both players to so start off. Scut continuing with the three SCV in gas, which suggests he does want to go for additional factories, potentially before going for his command center. SCV's pulling off gas as that SCV is exiting the base for Arson. So Arson wanting to go into more of an... Ex band economic style of play i kind of like the more factories early option marine going to pull back and go ahead and blockade that ramp one marine being produced and the barracks immediately being lifted off to provide the scouting information same thing opposite end from arson the marine a little bit further forward on the low ground to establish a little bit of forward control second factory now being placed for Scut. So Scut going to have to be the aggressor. Arson walking down and grabbing his natural expansion now. The longer the game lasts, the more it will start moving in Arson's favor. He does need to get a second factory down fairly rapidly or get some sort of... Not sure what I want to call it. Clutter at the natural expansion to try to make it a little bit harder to shoot that gap with vultures. Single SCV in gas now after those initial two factories to provide more minerals. SCV checks the natural expansion, confirms that the natural is not there, so there should be an assumption of some sort of faster aggressive opening. The factory actually lifting... This is an interesting play from Arson. I don't like this, actually. Lifting off the factory, repositioning it, now dropping the machine shop. Maybe wanting to go faster siege tank. A bunker at the very, very forward position. Maybe to try to get some as much damage as possible. First Vulture engaging each other. I do like this play from Arson. Get aggressive in his opponent's face. Double Machine Chop dropping to get the fast Vulture upgrades of both Mines and Speed. Bunker at a very forward position with a single Marine inside of it. An initial siege tank also being constructed. So with sufficient amount of siege tanks... It'll be easy to defend that natural expansion, but it is kind of a race at this stage. Scut floating a good amount of minerals, hasn't moved down to grab his natural expansion as of yet, and hasn't built a third factory either. 
waiting for the mine upgrade, it looks like, before opting to do either of those. But I'm a little bit concerned now as a second bunker being constructed, and now we have that clutter on the front, which is really going to decimate those vultures' ability to press through and attack that natural expansion. And Arson should be able to follow this up with a larger factory count. Yeah, the vulture is just kind of exploring right there. Not even to, able to plant mines in the close area. The barracks able to see the single factory count and we'll be able to at least have eyes on this. We do have an armory in the background. Academy also being constructed. Scut grabbing his command center, but Arson in a very strong position now. Mines just finishing so that at least give a little bit of vision and map control. One problem, and I like that he actually left the supply depots uncompleted as well. So just kind of planted down that 200 minerals. He can just cancel them to open up his front after this once he knows he has a superior unit count and play the match from here. Going double starport to follow this up. Wow. Interesting play. Let's see if it plays, if it pays off. Sea check upgraded for Scott. He does not have a lot of anti-air. There is a window along that right-hand side. But going to invest, I presume, in Wraith rather than your standard factory units. This barracks is nearby, in fact, sees it. Cancellation of that supply depot. The vultures see it with that range and are able to slip through right into that natural expansion. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. Needed more clutter there or more troops. Arson still with a huge... SCV lead, getting that command center down much, much more rapidly and actually clearing all these vultures out. That's going to e be even less of a defense force. Huge supply lead for Arson. Nice defense at the natural. Lost a handful of SCVs, but really not much. And the Wraith starting to take the field. We have a single Marine and a Starport otherwise being constructed. So in theory, we can have some Wraith, but I think it's going to drop and build a dropship fairly rapidly. And we don't have any form of anti-air plus the barracks is completely out of position. The Wraith could get a lot of kills, and this is certainly going to put Arson in a very strong economic position to start. On top of that, by the time a Wraith is being fielded from Scut, Arson should already have Cloaking upgraded himself, should he desire to do so. Going for the SCV line, but honestly, I would maybe even focus on that Siege tank. Regardless, four SCV lead is maintained. A counter wraith being built. No other form of anti-air that's forcing the units out. The marine isn't much of an attack force here. Are we seeing uh no, we're not seeing any additional upgrade there. The vulture starting to storm forward. And are we still gonna see a dropship follow? No, it's just gonna be so that's gonna delay a drop on top of everything else. So Arson in a very, very strong position economically, now taking getting another factory and all those honestly yeah i would go for these exposed siege tanks wraith moving in a couple free shots this is two versus one second race survives and actually with some missed shots still going to be okay the scv trying to build the armory going to get wiped out and this is just a field day now for arson as long as he pays half attention yeah going to get a lot of scv kills and able to do a lot of other damage out in the field that missile turret still trying to be built Another missile turret at the natural expansion. Arson now going to back out with these raids and work on that barracks. Kind of showboating. Honestly, he could go just standard factory and still would have been in a strong position. The Wraith um, did a good amount of damage. I almost feel like he could have gotten even more damage done, however, if he had just plopped down a uh, lot of additional troops and whatnot, starting to clear the front of those mines, move out, maybe grab his third, or maybe just go for an attack at the natural in the form of... Ooh, the tank, tank's dangerously close to the minefield right here. In the form of Siege Tank support. Getting mines. Third command center. Looks like he just wants to get a little bit of additional territory control. Grab a faster third. Supplies are even, which means Scut's army is actually somewhat larger. Although I believe it is more vultures than anything. He does have this dropship, which could be a huge X factor either at the main or the natural expansion. However, the Wraith, depending on their positioning, looks like we do have th three Wraith, they take a very long time 
to take out the vultures, but they might be able to take out that dropship pretty rapidly. Unfortunately, they are moving out of position to engage this. Mine's being cleared to the right to open up that third. So we do have an opportunity for Scut to try to even the economic count. A vulture just spawned, but it's already rallying out of position. Very late response from Arson. Now the Wraith looks like they're going to go for the cutoff route, try to kill that dropship before anything else. And a really good damage from Scud. So despite all of that earlier game Wraith harassment, a good solid drop, and he's closed the gap of the workers within three, although the dropship has been wiped out. Supply count still very much in Arson's favor. Trying to look at the raw siege tank count. Map control definitely in Arson's favor right this second. However, there are more siege tanks, I believe, out on the map for Scut right this second, but he doesn't have them deployed out to forward positions. Wraith moving out. Third base has been grabbed into Scut's territory. The Wraith starting to peel forward, and Arson setting up a soft contain outside of Scut's base. Further deploy points, but when you're moving into an opponent that's already sieged, oftentimes, unless you have overwhelming attack forces or dropships going in overhead, you're at a disadvantage. Holding just short of the minefields on the front, this is going to be three bases to work with. We'll see if additional factories get added on. We do have a fifth factory being constructed for Scut. Plus one weapons is not that far from finishing. In fact, is finished for Arson, so a bit of an economic lead as well. Wraith cloaking, looking for some territory to attack in the rear. Just getting an eyeful more than anything, clearing some mines to the front. A siege tank sneaking forward, but just losing its life for the effort. Some vultures have also laid mines to the far corner. The command center was attempting to be constructed there by Scut, but cancellation forced, and really, yeah, he's not in any position to grab additional bases. The siege tank's not really under the coverage of the turrets. There's no Goliaths out in the field as well, so they are going to get picked off to the forward location. No turret nearby as of well. At, as well, wow, this is things were not going well. Arson maybe overstepping here, moving in a little bit more rapidly than he needed to, and losing a siege tank and having too heavily damaged for his effort. Also clumping up his troops quite a bit, which could be horrendous for Splash. But Scott realizing that st he just doesn't have sufficient attack forces to keep that siege tank army back is gonna call GG right there. Well played, top to bottom from Arson. He'll move to the winners match. Scut will still proceed to the loser's match. He has more opportunities. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.